yeah. and had Hellish Rebuke in my hand without ever having mana up on your turn to use it. Yeah. I'm trying to think of Helix Pinnacle. I mean, it is a win condition. It may draw ire, but this deck is fast enough that, like, I don't know if there's a counter spell in green, but I could swap it out with, like, Desert Twister and it would be strong. Yeah, and just, like, something to blow out a permanent to, like, yeah. help yourself survive. My only worry is that it'd be like swapping a one mana for a seven mana, or six mana depth of twister. But on the other hand, if a one mana card doesn't do anything, yeah, absolutely. It's if it's just kind of a dead weight, yeah, exactly. Swap it for a forest and call it a win. All right. uh, but or, yeah, on the other hand, like it's not technically a one mana; it's a hundred and one mana. You just get to pay in installments. Yeah, right. Uh, I've also, I mean, and I've seen hurricanes win, win games. Yeah, it's like X and a green deal X damage to each creature with flying and each player. So and each player, yeah. So if you've got one more life than your opponent, you that's can right. hurricane them out of the game. You know, that's right, yeah. And as I understand it, like, this archetype is elf ball, mm -hmm. and the ball is fireball. So not having that, you do a hurricane. Yeah. You just gotta have more life than your opponent. That's fine. Which, if I'm having a good game, and I typically do, I then I do. It means you gotta be a little more... Uh... A little more wary of your... Of your Sylvan Library? Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, there are no lands in this hand. I'm not even going to do the thing. I'm just going to shuffle all that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are five lands in this hand. I'm still playing it. I'm trying to think if, like... Man, Partial Paris kind of feels like training wheels. But at the same time, like... I'm on board with Get a Playable Hand. Yeah. And, like, someone... Was that... KBS Genji, who was like, most players actually do partial parasing. That responded to some poll. I get but, it. And like, hello. Hi, Valixion. Valixion. Always glad to see someone that is not a Haas account. <laughs> yeah, right. That's that's great. We are playing one on one commander. I like the idea that. Uh, but actual cardboard. All the cats in Magic use up too many of the unnecessary H's that you can't afford to use one. <laughs> There continue to be no lands in this hand. You know why? Because I drew them all. Yeah, right. <laughs> all right, I'm in six pile. So, guys, That's what do you up to? What's new and exciting? Seriously. I was thinking, looking at Break Open, which is a bad card, and it's like turn target creature face up, and then I was thinking of how the new Innistrad mechanic is like transform based on day and night. And I was thinking, you know, maybe morph could be a cool thing if you could just, at all times, play any card for three mana as a 2-2. Two -two. Oh, yeah, if any card in your hand, like yeah. any card, even if it didn't have morph, could just yeah. be a 2-2 two -two guy. And the then hand. if it doesn't have a morph, then it just can't be turned face up unless it dies and you somehow try to get it. That him. would be cool. Yeah. For, like, let's say you've got a... Uh, handful of land? Yeah. <laughs> handful of land, sure. I was going to say a blue elemental blast with no red permanence on the battlefield. <laughs> I bet you people would use more situational yeah. cards like that. Yeah. And, like, we were talking at the beginning of the stream, like, we want more Hellbent, we want more stuff. I, like, it'd be cool if it was, like, hi, it's the new expansion, and it's just all the mechanics, there is one card that has it. So here is an Enchant World, here is a card of Hellbent, here is a card with Morph, here is a card with Affinity for Creatures. Well, apparently there's a good, there's good enough Morph cards. Trying to decide what he wants to do for his Sens deck. Is that Sen triplets, or is that autocorrect deciding you didn't want to type Sun? Oh, sense. Okay. And uh, already running Dismantle. Do you run Paradox Haze? <laughs> sense triplets. Okay. Because Paradox Haze will give you an additional upkeep, which would let you target your other opponent. Cool. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of taking two upkeeps. Yeah. There's that one Sphinx that'll do it for you. You got a whole new beginning phase. Yeah, at the end of your turn. Yeah. I mean, upkeep, or no, 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 untap is included in that, so Yeah, great. untap awesome. is great. <laughs> but, like, as far as send triplets is concerned, taking an additional upkeep at the end of your turn doesn't really help too much. Yeah, sure. You can't cast anything during my end step. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> send triplets. I'm oh, shaking man. in my swift foot boots. <laughs> <laughs> Very swiftly. The swiftest of the foot boots. <laughs> Shaken so swiftly. Man. 
I, I, I was also mostly joking, saying to Alex, yo, if I made a deck that had send triplets, since we play a one-on-one, -on -one, would you scoop if I just tried to play it? Because I would if you did. Hmm. And Alex goes, no, you can do it with send triplets. May combo well with extra turns. True. Send triplets is blue-black, right? Blue-black-white. Blue-black-white. Mm -hmm. Three, three, three for five. And the one card that's like command mind or something, it's ancient, is all black. So that's cool. Uh, so you run the old Orem's Chant on an Isochron Scepter. So that your opponents can't do anything during their turn. Much the, better. Their and then they can't do anything during your turn. I don't know. I've never put a Send Triplets deck together. I always viewed that it would it would just get too much hate. Absolutely. Again, like I said, you got to balance your desire to win the game with your desire not to feel guilty. Yeah. Oh whole, my god, yeah. all the time am I just <laughs> like, wow, that was too strong. I'm going to have to take it apart. Yeah. Uh, I lose, I go first. Yes, sir. And then to that end, allow me to forest. Wait for it. Hold up. Hold that thought. Elvish Reclaimer. Say go. Plus two, plus two, as long as there are three more lands in my graveyard. Two tap, sack, a land, sort of over four, a land, but on the battlefield, tapped. And Hall of the Bandit Lord, and to play tapped. Tap, pay three life, add a colorless to your mana pool. If that mana is spent to cast a creature spell, it gains haste. Cool. Uh, played Hive Mind with Sen's deck today. Cool. Stand by. <laughs> Right, exclamation point? Yeah, exclamation point and then your command, and it can just be the card name. Every Gaia's Cradle. An instant or sorcery spell, each other player copies that spell. Each of those players may choose new targets for the copy. Oh, but they can't cast things while you told, tell them that they can. Wow. Holy shit. That's intense. One and two. Uh, by which I mean. Juan, Lana Wilds, then Sigo. Urborg, for the not having to pay three life in order to tap my Hall of the Bandit Lord. Another traitor. <laughs> Good card to love you. Swing for one. What a loyal guy. Yeah, considering he's a traitor. Yeah. He just trades the nethers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> traitor to the nether regions. Your turn. Castle Garen Break, which loves me more than I love it. Um, I mean, what am I going to not? One yeah. of these times you're going to have a six drop in your hand and only have five mana in play. It's going <laughs> to happen so at some point, right? Yeah. One, two, three. Marwen. Uh, some good discard and life gain. The new... No, he's not new. The recently reprinted dude who discarded a card float of black. He's like an imp or something? Yeah, I don't think that's what he means. <laughs> I think he wants ways to make your opponents discard cards. Oh, true. Uh, Nizumi Shortfang. He's a Atakami Gawa. He, up until that point in time, he was the only card in the entire game outside of Funeral Charm that could make someone discard at instant speed. And then if they have no cards in their hand, once they've discarded, he turns into the rack. One, two, three. Drawing rights of Illamark. Starfield, look at the top of the um, There's also him to Turok, which is probably the strongest of the discard. Have my head, I know I want to get Soul Warden and Sarah's Ascent. I may reveal a creature from among them, put it into my hand. It's a lot of cards, I don't know the name. Check this Elvish Visionary, it's going to my hand. Beginning of my end step, if I control four or more creatures, transform it. Uh. Pass priority with nothing on the stack. That is to say, go to the end step. I do not control four more creatures. Go ahead. Uh, no cards of that named. Sarah's Ascent. Maybe Ascendant. Oh, Sarah Ascendant. Yeah, that card's fucking ridiculous. Oh, okay. A Cabal Coffers. <sighs> what a cool... Oh, three lands. I swing yeah. for one. I'll take one. And it's your turn. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sarah Ascendant makes a lot of fucking sense in anything that contains white. 
Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you gain a life. Yeah, that seems pretty good for life gain. Um, fishbowl. What's the fishbowl called? I know exactly what you're talking about. Death ray. Um, Aetherflux Reservoir. Aetherflux Reservoir. Very good for life gain. Yeah. And, yes. And also... What colors I, are you in? Are you, oh, oh, you're in... It's colorless. Yeah, I'm asking oh, what yeah, color true. he's in, because then he can play the Bolas' Citadel. True. Plus that, plus the... Uh, Sensei's the Sensei's divining, divining top. top and just gain infinite life off of it. Yeah, right there. Aetherflux Reservoir. There, there it is. Yeah. Is that the one that's like... I don't know. Uh, yeah, do AE, but don't try and do the like A combined with an E thing that sometimes people do. Uh, some blood soup. Uh, oh, so that's... that's uh, I can't think of how to spell Reservoir off the top of my head. R-O-R-E-S? I think it's a Reservoir. So R-E-S-E-R-V-O-I-R. Anyways, quant well if you do Aetherflux res, it'll f it'll fuzzy. So anyways, one, two, other visionary. Uh, it'll predictive text, because that always works out well. <laughs> sort of. It'll it'll do a fuzzy search of magic cards, so mm -hmm. it's pretty good. Nice. So like the amount of times I've searched Asmore and it was like, yeah, I know her. Yeah. Uh, Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> like the draw card? Because my phone didn't know spicy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. This boy sucks. Actually, come to think of it. Um. For its creature. I control. Four. Hilarious. Okay. Not hilarious. Just normal. You end his growing rights check. End of turn. End of turn. Beginning of my end step. Right. You got have, what, four creatures in play? Yep. Seems good. Here's a fifth. Gotta counter from our one. Other elf creatures I control get plus one, plus one. Oh, no. That taps for a green. Looks like some hurt. Um. Oh, I was gonna say, I feel like Marwin's old, but I don't remember. Yeah. She's old? Sweet. That's three mana? Oh, cool. Uh, that was, that was four, so I got a green floating. Um. Marwin for three more. We're up to four. Thousand Year Elixir and also tap on tap creature. Sweet. Oh, and she had an extra one because he's here. No, I paid for him. Never mind. Now she does. Uh, one float. And Marwin is currently three plus one is four. Uh, she has two counters on her. Inside. Yep. Two counters and one one. And other elves. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To that end, I'll tap her again. Lifecrafter's Bestiary. And then swing with an Elvish Reclaimer. I take two. That's right. And then take out. Swamp. For the finally netting mana of it all. Aetherflux res. Hell yeah. Four artifact whenever you cast a spell, gain a life for each spell you've cast this turn. Swing for one. Hey, the shadow. Okay, I'll take one. It's your turn. I forgot to fuck it. No. Growing Rights Middle Mark is ready. Ready when I am. Uh, it's not a May effect, is it? Yeah. All right, we'll try. If you insist. Checks five, four creatures. I absolutely do. It'll mock. Cradle of the Sun. I can tap it for a green or tap it for a green for each creature I control. Pretty sweet. Cradle of the. Gaia. Yeah. Cradle of the Gaia's Cradle. Three last draw. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Oh, can you get my scry one? Well, I absolutely would have kept this. Okay. Well, god damn it. Tap this for. I'm gonna use the Castle Garrett break nice. right after I talk shit. Okay. 
Uh, tap for each creature I control. One, no, two, three, four, five. Uh, use four of it to float six, plus the one is seven. Kodama of the East Tree, plus one to draw a card. Nice. Um, <laughs> plus that extra one. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, for each creature I control is now going to be a six. Seven, six yeah. Um... ridiculous okay six for a shamanic revelation draw a card for each creature i control it's not a creature spell but i do have a green floating look at all these cards okay so i will tap for each is that elf or green creature elf i control one two three four five Plus the one floating is six. Staff of Domination. And Marwyn's power is currently three. So the infinite is not there yet. But I do have... That's three. Um, four. Okay. Float three. Untap. Uh, so we're at six, down to five to untap her. We are at five mana. And I'll... So many choices. Just drop out a Seedborn Muse. Uh... Cool, cool, cool. Um, which is not an elf. <laughs> and we're right back down to zero. She could go for a three. Oh, I'm sorry. Four. And it would be a fifth. I mean, sure, why not? Let's tap her for four. Ezri, Renegade Leader. That's an elf at long last. And because he's a permanent, now I have a Kodama. I can drop out another permanent, which I cannot afford. No, wait. It's a land. Hell yeah. Uh, I believe I left myself some mana, right? Um, left myself two. And three, four, five. I can do it once. Elf creatures I control get plus three, plus three, and trample at the end of turn. Legionary and Reclaimer. Coming your way for a total of eight. Damnation. Hellish Rebuke. Permanence your opponent's control gain when this permanent deals combat damage or deals damage to the player who cast Hellish Rebuke. Sack this permanent, you lose two life. Brutal. So I take eight, you lose four. All right. I stopped myself there. Okay. 3430. Sego. I will untap all permanents I control. Play a swamp. Five. Six. For a duplicate to hit your Marwin. Unacceptable. Deadwin. Um, I will also float a bunch of mana with Marwin to also. What can I do? With Staff of Domination. Uh, she has three, so I could tap a creature and or untap a creature. Which is like nothing. You don't... I mean, couldn't you just theoretically draw your entire deck right now? I don't think so. Because you give all creatures you control plus three, plus three. Anyways, I'm going to tap your nether trader and not take one. <laughs> Heard that. Set. Uh, give them all plus three plus three you say and then I'm not seeing draw my entire deck well you let your Marwin die oh yeah true <laughs> let her draw okay uh, scry one sure why not draw this card 
I will. It's been a while. Drop a land. All right. I will also. Last turn, you got one off of your Kandama. <laughs> <laughs> Wild Growth, which another permanent. Sweet. So I can drop another permanent. That would cost one or less. No. Sweet. Um, that'd be for each creature. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can recast a Marwin for that. Uh, plus one is six. Uh, three, four, five. I have one floating. That's another cast of Marwin. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's five tap draw a card, and then yeah, I'm not seeing infinite mana to draw my entire deck. Eight, we said okay. Summoner's pack. Search my library for a card. It's gonna be the Crater Hoof Behemoth. Being in my next upkeep, pay the four mana if I don't lose the game. All right. Four from the bottom, from the top. That boy costs eight. Here, this is east right here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I had the one remaining, right? So that makes seven. Regal Force, when it's about a field, draw a card for each green creature I control, which we just said was six. Uh, so, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I believe. Oh, yeah. two, three, four, five, he counts himself. And you drop a seven drop for me. That's right. Specifically, the one I just looked for. Uh, no, actually, it costs eight. But I could drop another that would cost a lot of mana or not. A Firewood Chandler. Why not? Uh, you're here. Because doesn't trouble. the other guy get you the infinite mana? I think so. Almost. But yeah, because your guys. Kodama good. lets me drop a seven drop. Credit Hoof is eight. Oh. And I can't just pay the mana to. Oh, I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. Uh, but I can, with him, also counter from Arwen, I believe, uh, tap for each elf in play. I think I have a lot. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And that five is... Uh, let's see. Untap the staff and untap a creature for four and tap. So Marwen has to hit four to five total to net me infinite. Yeah, so... I mean, this guy... Will float you the five to give all your elves oh, plus four three each plus three. Yeah. So then this will get plus three plus three and go up to a six six now. Yeah. And that produces you infinite mana. Sweet. With which I you just cast a bunch of elves and attack with them. Yeah, you don't even have to. Yeah. Your Azuri gets huge. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. The one fucking game he doesn't attack me with a Marwin. <laughs> Cool. Hellish Rebuke is getting cut. <laughs> that was the one time that I attacked you with things that weren't No, everything. that's two games Hellish Rebuke has been into my hand and been absolutely worthless. Hellish Rebuke. Hey!